Hey everybody, this video is all about setting up events in Google Tag Manager to be used in GA4. Eventually we'll turn those events into conversions. All right, so let's go over to GA4 to start. So this is an existing account that I have. And what I wanna do is create a new account. So we'll go into this one, head over to this cog here, and I'll click on admin. And then I'll click on create account. This will create a brand new account. Let's call it new demo account. Perfect. Account data sharing settings. Let's check all the ones that pertain to our use case. I'll select them all just for the purpose of the video. Click next, property name, new demo account. Click the reporting time zone. Canada and then maybe dollar X industry select your industry there business size and how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business select all that apply again for maximum flexibility I usually check all of these boxes click on create and here select the terms of service pertaining to where you live in my case Canada Check the box, make sure you read it. And there's another box you have to check here. Accept, create. And over here, you're gonna select web because we're creating a data stream for our website. You can also create a data stream for your app, an Android app, or for your iOS app. Example.com is the URL. And the stream name is demo website. Okay, create stream. Perfect. So this is really what, what I wanted to, uh, to get to. So this is the measurement ID. We're gonna copy this and then go to Google Tag Manager. Click on tags inside your Google Tag Manager container. Then you'll click on new, this blue button here. Call this tag a GA4 config tag. This is a GA4 configuration tag. This sets everything up. It should be on all pages. So I went a little faster, but the tag type is going to be GA4 configuration. Okay, measurement ID, paste in that G dash string, and there you go. Set a trigger for all pages. Perfect. Hit save. And now let's get, create our event tag. So that one is done. Then click new again. Let's call this. Uh, cancel event tag. Oh, I can G4 cancel event tag. Because on my website, we're going to track events coming from this cancel button. Okay, so let's go back. Click here to choose the tag type. And like I said, it's going to be a GA4 event tag. Click that. Select configuration tags. We just created it. So you'll click this drop down, click on our tag name, J4 config tag, tag, and the event name. What kind of event is it? So it's a button click. So you're gonna type in button click. Not gonna be all button clicks. So we actually have to drill down and tell J4 what type of button we are actually clicking on. So in our case, the button name is going to be cancel. Okay. Now I've created a way for GTM to easily create a trigger on buttons. If you look at the site code super quick, this has nothing to do really with an event implementation in GA4. It's just a really good way of tagging your website. So if you look at the code, here's the button right here. Event 
cancel, and then over here is the cancel button. I've added a data layer push on the cancel button or the cancel link on the site. And what it's doing is it's pushing an event and it's sending a value of cancel to that event. This way in GTM, I can create cancel event trigger. And I can click on here for trigger configuration, go to custom event, and I can have GTM listen for when an event equals cancel. Perfect. I'll hit save. And then I'll hit submit. And you can write something that's descriptive and according to the changes that you just made in your container. So I'll just call it J4. And I'll say implemented uh, J4 big A as well as event A. Perfect. You should publish this stuff. I'm sorry, you should preview this stuff before you publish, but for the sake of the video, I just went right to publish. Now let's go to GA4 and see if it's all working. Here's the home page. Again, here's our test site. So let's refresh. Go back to GA4. Let's see if I show up as a user first. Should say one. There I am there. Toronto. Now let's see if our event is coming through. Let's go back to our site. Click the cancel button. So I, I clicked it once. Let's go back to real time. And let's wait for it to show up over here under the section that says event count by event name. So it takes maybe 30 to 45 seconds for real time events to come in. You saw that right away. I wasn't counted as, as a user. We have to wait a few seconds and then it showed me where I was. Here we go. So this wasn't there before, as I was talking, this showed up. Button underscore click. So that's the one we set up. Let's jump in there and see if it kind of deep dives into our cancel button. So button click, let's click on it. Perfect, there's the button name. Oops. Cancel, there it is right there, awesome. So now let's go over to the configure section. And we don't want that event just to live in the real time space. We want it to actually be plotted here in the event area of GA4. So the automatically collected events are here and custom events will also be here as well. We have to wait a little bit of time for, for data to come through. This is a brand new account, so you don't see anything. But for custom events, you actually need to tell GA4 that when real time events are coming in, set them here. So we have to go to create event and then we have to set it up. Okay. So let's click on create and let's call it cancel button event. You can name it whatever you like. It's just the name that I chose right now on the fly. The spaces need to be separated by an underscore. So make sure you do that. And we need to tell GA4 how to find the event, basically. So this is the logic for it. So event underscore name equals, remember in the real time view, how did we drill down? So that was button click. And then the next one was button name. And then once we actually clicked on button name, we saw cancel. That's how you kind of map GA4 
to understand that when it sees things come into the platform, if those things are custom and not automatically included within the platform, plot, it, plot those things here. The next thing we want to do, grab this name. So custom event name, we just added that. So we want to go over to this conversion section. Click on new conversion event, paste it here, and then hit save. There you go, mark as conversion. So it automatically marks it as a conversion. So once data shows up here, it'll also be here in the conversion section. If you uncheck it, this goes away as a conversion, but it'll still remain here because we haven't touched it here. If you want to delete it from here, go into it, and then these three dots at the top right, you can click on delete or copy if you want to create a similar event. It's a good way to do it. All right, perfect. Hope that was helpful. So we've created event tags in GTM and we've set up events in GA4. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.